Copasi stage three, pull double on the attack, followed by Cepeda, Archie Ryan, and De Preto. De Preto is second on stage one, stage two, Archie and Archie Ryan third. Then uh, leader's jersey for the day was Diego Ulissi, who really didn't have a super strong team. He had to do a lot of work himself. Pull double, always races aggressively on the attack. Here's Ulissi trying to pace back. You can see there's a big group behind. A lot of these climbs, they're not super long, they're not super steep, but there are a lot of them, and it's really up and down all day. Here is Stana Mitter and Pozzovivo. Pozzovivo's last year for Bardiani. They're getting across. You can see the gap they have ahead of Ulisi isn't much, and they also don't have a massive amount to go uh, to uh, the leaders with EF. Cepeda pacing very, very hard, which makes sense. They've got two in the front group, and Archie Ryan's looking really, really strong. Here's a summary of the riders. Uh, and yeah, 27k to go, 11 seconds. It's going to be tough to really chop through. Uh, Ulisi, I think, on this kind of terrain is very, very strong. I don't actually know if this is De Pero. It looks like a JCL rider, not De Preto, but that is who they said it was. I think that could be an error. Anyway, the descent, they take big risks. You can see it's kind of all coming back together. Like, there's not really much gap. There's descents here. They look technical. They're actually not too bad, a lot of them, in terms of, like, corners. It's hard to put gra ground into them. Again, a lot of them are very pedaling as well because they're not super steep. So it is really difficult to gain much time. And looking at the back, Cohen Bauman, everyone else is here. They're just, just pretty relaxed. Uh, Archie Ryan, again, trying to push it on the descent. You can see more people following, but it's really not too difficult to follow on a descent like this. Cam motorbike causing carnage. But yeah, Yumbo uh, with Stan and Mitter getting across. Ulysse looking very relaxed. Getting a big drop from the motorbike to help to get across. But here, it's like, okay... It's come back together. You think just roll to the finish. It's kind of lumpy and then pan flat finish. So uh, sprint. So it should be should be no stress. And realistically, I think if there was a stronger team from Ulysses, it probably would be more of a race like that. Here, people doing a lot of pulling, but it's all coming back together. Like the speed's so high here. As soon as anyone's kind of slightly in the draft from 10 meters away, like you're going to close the gap. Ulysses here just riding on the front kind of makes sense. Hits Pots of Eva, just so relaxed at the back. Zero stress about getting dropped. Very, very chill. Cepeda just ahead of him. And a decent sized group, to be honest. You think actually maybe Logan Curry, I think, is here for a uh, lot of destiny. Archeran's still pulling now. Uh, and then got most of the favourites as well. Depreto is actually in that orange jersey. Well, definitely was a JCL rider. And I believe that's Adam Tupalik for TDT. And the wing, the Waloni Bingles rider uh, attacks very from the back of the group. Big launch. Everyone's looking. Ulysse doesn't go with him. I believe he's a little bit down on GC. Kuhn Bowman hops across. We didn't actually see any of their footage, but he managed to hop across. And then they just work very, very well together. Both of them got big motivation uh, to stay away. Bowman more for the stage. There wasn't really much organization, but then on this kind of final main climb, it's only two, three minutes. Cepeda gets on the front to try and launch Archie Ryan. Cepeda looking pretty strong at the moment. You can see everyone's lined out. Looks pretty, pretty tough pace. Ulysse, I guess, must be quite happy that there's some pace, so maybe he won't lose out completely. Lots of Destiny had a lot of riders, but again, they're not in the leader's jersey. Bardiani had a couple as well. Pelizzari, I think, as well, is there, who is super strong. But they're like, are you going to pace for Ulysse? I don't know. I think it probably makes sense. Yumbo had Stan and Mitter, which isn't, which is good for them because he can follow and check, uh, we'll basically follow any move that might go up to Cohen Bauman. And here, Ulysses again, he kind of goes to the front, maybe trying to pace, I'm not exactly sure. And you look on the left, and Archie Ryan goes, ciao, ciao, boys, it's time to launch. Bardiani, right, I believe Pelizzari can't hold the wheel, uh, and Stan and Mitter looks very, very good. Uh, like, definitely uncomfortable, um, however, still in pretty pretty good good, uh, good pos positions, right? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so Mateus was the well only Bingles rider. And like, again, you can see from like how fast they're going, like it is kind of steep, but it's not that bad. Like they're looking like they're going quick. The draft is decent and they've only actually got a pretty small gap. It says 30 seconds, but you'll see behind it definitely isn't. Arch Ryan again, basically just riding everyone off his wheel at this point. Looking really, really strong on this gradient as well as impressive stuff. You can see people come up, going out the back. All the lotto riders are really struggling. Towards the end, another attack here. And this is really where the elastic starts to snap and Archie Ryan actually just starts riding away. Only Stan and Mithic can actually go with him. Everyone else is, is done. And at this point, you think, okay, this is a perfect position for, for Visma because 
they can just hop across. Uh, they can follow Archie Ryan and then they'll have two in the front group. The chance of winning very, very high. It's down at Mitter has a really, really good sprint. And they, look, if in the background of this picture, you can see the group. So it is really, really close. I think the issue is because Archie Ryan's doing most of the work here, he can't explode across because he's doing the work. For instance, if it was actually just a really hard tempo then and the gap was this big, then maybe it would have been easier to close. But it was tough. Stan Amitit then starts pulling, which is an interesting move, but kind of makes sense because they got two in the front group. And also Stan Amitit has a way better sprint than Cone Bowman, so it's more guaranteed the stage win if they can get across. But again, the gap behind, not very big. And this is really where you think it could all come back together because there's about 10 seconds to Bowman to this group and then another kind of maybe 10 seconds. So if they get across and then and the chasers also see them getting across, like it could all come back together. And then just like a standard bunch sprint here. Everyone's working really hard. Bellman again could have sat up, but I think it doesn't make sense to do it. Like you can sit up, but then maybe you just get caught and then stand amidst it's quick enough in a reduced group. But I think Udyssey is probably faster. So I think Visma probably did the right tactics here. Just both pulling. If if Stan Amitter gets across, good. He'll probably win. If he doesn't get across, then Bellman still has got a good chance against Vries. Uh, so it's like, it's, a, it's an easy thing. On this little rise again, it's somewhere where you think if Ryan was strong enough, maybe he could launch across. You can see they're just up there. That's not far. Like if he wasn't in the red, like you just do a minute nuclear and you're probably across. And you can see again, like out of the saddle, really just trying to drive as much as possible. Anyway, they ended up getting caught. Udyssey starts leading out. Lotto, Destiny did a lot of riding. Kuhn Bowman's on the front, looking over his shoulder. De Vries, there's not really too much to play in some sense because they like Bowman does want a good time on GC and Bowman leads out from the front. It's just chow chow, thanks for coming. He's very strong. I believe one Jira stage in similar fashion from reduced break. Like he has a good sprint for a smallish boy. Wins the stage and the jersey tap by Malia for Kuhn Bowman. Behind is a very, very, very chaotic sprint. But everyone is on the same time, more or less. So, yeah, it's just standard day out. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.